Hey VC, my friend Morrissey. This is my contest entry for Tales from the Crates. 500 subs contest, I was about to say 1,000, but uh, not there yet. Although you will be there very quickly, Andrew. Um, probably within, I don't know how many weeks. But at the rate that you're climbing, I mean, you're already over 600 and you only, uh, your contest isn't even over yet. So uh, well on your way to 1,000. Anyways, this contest, if you don't know, um, you're just supposed to show covers by you know, any artist, um, with the, the caveat that they had to be, um, somewhat different than the original, which I think, um, actually kind of tripped me up a little bit, because I knew a lot of covers off the top of my head, um, I don't own necessarily that many on, on vinyl, but, um, the first one that did pop into my head, I was actually surprised of how similar to the original it actually was, um, and I'll just kind of talk about that now, it's kind of an honorable mention, is, uh, Bjork. Her second album, Post, has a cover of a kind of a jazz standard just called It's Oh So Quiet, which, you know, her kind of vocal delivery ranges from uh, a literal whisper to literal screaming um, at like the top of her lungs. And I was kind of, I kind of was under the impression that that was very much just a Bjork thing, which, you know, her accent um, is very much Bjork. But like the performance, performance itself, I was under the impression that it was like completely unique to her. And I actually heard a, a version from like the 40s that was like basically the exact same um, with the vocal delivery and I was like, okay, that wasn't as uh, different of a cover than I thought. Anyway, I just thought it was kind of funny because that was like the first song that popped into my head with the covers. Um, someone already showed this one, I don't remember who it was, but um, the great Patti Smith with uh, her debut album Horses. And the, the first track on here is a cover of the uh, Them song written by Van Morrison, Gloria. But it's kind of a reworking um, of the song. She actually gets her own uh, songwriting credit for, um, you know, it's not. It's definitely not a straight cover. There's like whole um, lyrics and um, and a whole a whole section of the song that is completely unique. Um, and in the chorus, it does go into the classic uh, G L O R A A Gloria bit. But yeah, just a great kind of um, what do you call her? Punk. She's like the godmother of punk. Uh, a great kind of punk or, or rock uh, cover of the, the great Van Morrison song. And um, someone already showed that one, so I thought I would also mention this 7-inch um, I picked up on Record Store Day this year um, with uh, Hey Joe on the A side. It's uh, obviously a cover of a standard, but kind of made famous in the 60s by Hendrix. Um, and that's kind of the kind of feeling it has, but it's it's very much um, a Patti Smith song in the way that she's kind of uh, flowing with this kind of freeform uh, kind of poetry thing. And fun fact, it has uh, Tom Verlaine from uh, from uh, television on lead guitar on, on that track, so that's pretty cool. Uh, look at that, that got released for Record Store this year, and it's pretty cool. Um, one I'm not really a fan of, honestly is um, from this album Young Americans by David Bowie. He does a cover of uh, Across the Universe, the classic John Lennon Beatles track. And Lennon is actually on the track. I think he's doing rhythm guitar. Um, or maybe it's lead guitar. I don't remember. Either way, he's on, he's on the track. And it's not that crazy. It's just basically Across the Universe with a glam rock um, sound. And Bowie's kind of bombastic glam rock uh, vocals on the track. I'm not really that big of a fan of it, at least compared to the original, um, either the Spil the Phil Spector version or the um, like the raw demo version of Across the Universe. Um, I'm a fan of either one of those, and not so much of the Bowie version, honestly. Um, this one here by Joy Division, uh, still. It's. Um, Featuring a bunch of live performances on here, but they do uh, a 10 minute cover of like the 17 minute song by the Velvet Underground called Sister Ray off of uh, White Light, White Heat. And um, while again, it's not the most different version of the song, it was just kind of cool to hear Ian Curtis vocals on, on a Velvet Underground track. And um, it definitely, not that the original song wasn't very heavy, but it definitely has a very heavy post punk feel. Um, I think that one's really worth checking out if you never heard it. I don't think I ever see people really talking about this release. Um, this release is cool. It's also got like an uh, early demo, or I think it's actually a live recording of um, them playing Ceremony, 
which would later become a New Order single. Um, this one here I just recently picked up. This is The Record by Fear. Um, I think they're West Coast, but just a hardcore punk band. Um, they do a great cover of We Gotta Get Out of This Place. Um, sort of made famous, at least in my eyes, by uh, The Animals, Eric Vernon and The Animals. Um, and what year was that? Probably like 65 or so. Um, great hardcore punk rendition of that song. Full of energy. The tempo is way up. Uh, the vocals are way... Um, Again, not to say that Eric Burden's vocals weren't raw or anything, but it's kind of hard to compete with a straight hardcore version of, of a song. Um, one I've already kind of mentioned that I was going to do, um, going to kind of talk about in this video is uh, this Butthole Surfers um, Rembrandt Pussy Horse. They do a, a kind of a reworking of um, the Guess Who track American Woman, and it's got you know it's got the guitar riff, it's got the chorus. Um, that's about it. It's more of a, a spacey, half coherent, uh, rendition of the song with kind of, um, you know, in the later parts of The Wall by Pink Floyd where they have, uh, the guy in the megaphone shouting, uh, kind of ramblings. It kind of reminds me of that. There's, there's a bunch of that going on through the track. It makes no sense. It's completely off the wall and it's just a crazy, crazy cover of a classic rock song. And last one here is a little more straightforward. You all know this one. Talking Heads, uh, second album. More songs about buildings and food. Um, it's not the closer. It's the second to last one. Uh, they do a cover of the Al Green song, Take Me to the River. And they completely, um, pretty much stole it from Al Green. In terms of, like, he wrote the song. They made it theirs. Their performance is, is so good. I honestly prefer David Byrne's vocal to Al Green's. Even though I think Al Green is a objectively a better singer than, than David Byrne, um, but just, it has like a, obviously a new wave kind of vibe as opposed to the, the soul, uh, version of the original, and, um, I'm a big fan of that one, that one's really famous too, I think that was like a hit for them, anyways, yeah, that's it, again, congrats Andrew on so many subs, um, over 600 last time I checked, like I said, well on your way to a thousand at this rate, and, uh, We'll go to 2,000 from there. So, uh, hope you're having a good one. Um, thank you all for supporting, really, everybody in the VC. They see lots of love going around. Um, it's just good to, good to be part of this community. Anyways, that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.